You know, in Matthew 18, Jesus said, if you don't forgive, and the reason that people need to understand it, if you don't forgive your brother, your sister, your ex, your, the, the person who ripped you off for thousands of dollars, the person who molested you, you or molested, your yeah. or molested your child. Or molested your child, yeah. Oh. If you don't forgive, yeah. there's only one option. You, either, you, you have two choices when you get offended, and you will get offended. Nobody escapes it. It's going to happen. That's right. You either obey the Word and forgive. And sometimes that means you, you separate the act from the person. Mm -hmm. If somebody, when, when you forgive, you're not saying... It's okay what you did. Right. The act was wrong. The act could have been evil. The act could have been demonic. Mm -hmm. But you, keep, you can keep that act in a prison because it's wrong. But you have to release the person and see the person as someone who, just like God sees you, yeah. he, he, re, he releases you from the act and then he sees you and you forgive them. And so, in Matthew 18, it's, it's this amazing thing about what happens. He said, you know, he tells that whole parable of the king and how that he forgave a guy of a huge debt that he couldn't pay. And yeah. the guy walks right outside, grabs, sees somebody that owes nothing almost to him, grabs him by the throat. The guy who's just been forgiven a, a debt he couldn't pay by the king, he grabs this guy by the throat yeah. and says, pay me back. And somebody saw it. And reported it back to the king. The king came in. He said, I forgave you a debt you couldn't pay. And then you won't re release this person from a tiny debt that yeah. they owe you. Wow. And then this powerful verse, he says, turn him over to the torturers. Turn him over to the tormentors. Yes. Which the Lord spoke to my heart and said, the only option that you have when you have been deeply offended is to obey and forgive or not obey and be turned over to the torturers. Well, what are the torturers? Emotional torment, yes. oh my. physical torment, and spiritual torment. Every person needs to understand if you're under emotional, emotional torment, mm -hmm. Physical torment sometimes can be rooted and grounded in bitterness and unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. It's amazing to me. This is so important. Yeah. That in Exodus chapter 15, the first time God revealed Himself in the earth as Jehovah Rapha, which means the Lord that heals thee. The first mm -hmm. time God said, mm -hmm. I am the healer God. Mm -hmm. It was not a physical healing. It was at the bitter waters of Mara, where they were thirsting and the water was bitter. And God said, there's a tree, Moses, take a limb and touch the tree, which is a type of Calvary, and touch the bitter water and turn it back sweet. The point is this. And then he said, for I am Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals thee. Think about this. The first time God healed, it was not a physical disease. It was the healing of bitter waters. Man. That, that he turned bitterness into sweetness. Maybe the reason that some people, not always, but some people who are, are not being healed is because they have bitter waters. Yes, yes. 